Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Kai Wong. I'm from Computer Vision Center for uh, uh, University Autonoma de Barcelona. And here we will present our paper about uh, continuous learning in cross model retrieval, which is uh, published in the CVPR continuous learning workshop. And here we will uh, focus on the continuous learning in cross model retrieval. So uh, we split the cross model retrieval into stages. It's not the same as uh, conventional split for the training and the test stages. Uh, here we will uh, furthermore split the test stage into indexing stage and query stage, which is to uh, store the, the features, no matter it's from the image branch or from the text to the branch, and we save them into database for the query stage. So then, uh, since we split the test stage into the indexing and the query, uh, we have a lot of variance or indexing data from the previous task. So in the test time, we have four choices. Actually, uh, it's grouped into re-indexing or not re-indexing, and uh, the task is known or unknown. Actually, for the re-indexing, it means that we need to store the feature once again from uh, from the previous tasks. And not to index things means that after learning the previous task, we store all the image text, image and text features for the further usage. And for task known and unknown, it means that in the test state whether we know the task oracle. And in this case, uh, if we know about the task ID, we can go directly to the storage of the task to further fast faster the uh, the, the query uh, speed. And also, uh, in the paper, we also notice what happened in the training time. Uh, there is one thing we can't ignore, is that the cross-task negative pairs, which we show here in this uh, figure A and the figure B. Actually, actually, if uh, in joint training, we could compose uh, uh, a lot of negative pairs from different tasks. But in the continuous learning, since you cannot observe the previous data is impossible to compose across technical pairs, which might be also very important in the continuous learning in cross model retrieval. So that's also one of our topic and uh, one of the very important things in the future we need to uh, talk about and focus on and to know how the cross task and negative pairs play the role in cross model retrieval. And so in total, uh, we have uh, summarized uh, this three different causes of getting cross-model retrieval. Uh, first is uh, drift because of the parameters, and the second is that the whether we need to re-index or no re-indexing, and then the third is uh, whether we know about the tasks because sometimes there are some overlapping the uh, feature spaces. So uh, based from these observations we propose two variants to overcome forgetting. First one is a global way, and the second is a French way. But the only difference that in the global way is that we try to overcome forgetting in both branches, and uh, we apply the same uh, strategy to overcome forgetting on both uh, branches. And then for the branch way, it means that we only uh, focus on one branch to know uh, how it was working, for each branch in overcome and in the continual learning on uh, cross model retrieval, that's to some way to know what the role of each branch is. And then with this uh, different proposals and our observations, we did the experiments over the visual genome data set. And for the architecture, no sharing and sharing it means that uh, on the top. Uh, layers of this uh, architecture, so whether we are there, these two branches are sharing some par parameters, uh, and by this way, to making the drift of these parameters going into the same direction. And here, there are some uh, two SNE visualizations uh, for uh, these different our proposals. You can see that with the cross task negative pairs and no indexing, the tasks are more uh, discriminate to each other, and this. Uh, also true to our intuition. And then here is a conclusion that is in this paper we are the first one to propose this problem and do some research.